Every slingshot that you get from Simple Shot comes with two types of bands in the package. One's for clay ammo and one's for steel ammo. You should also get, with every slingshot, a little container with some steel ammo and another little container with some clay ammo. Today, we're gonna shoot some ammo over the chronograph with both band sets to give you an idea of why it's important to match your bands to your ammo. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you get your bands is to measure your draw length. Now, I like to leave about a quarter of an inch extra length to attach it to the slingshot, the part that's gonna go into the clip, but I'm gonna cut these at the proper length for my draw length. And of course, I'm gonna wear my safety glasses. So we're gonna start with the clay ammo bands. Three shots over the chronograph with clay ammo. That's 256, 246, and 251. So now we're gonna shoot the clay ammo, but with the 3 8 ammo band set. 254, 255, 260. Now we're gonna shoot steel ammo. These are 3 8 steel balls. We're gonna shoot it with the clay ammo band set. 197, 197 again, 197 again. <laughs> That's a really good thing that they're all the same. So our last test is going to be to shoot the steel ammo, but with the steel ammo band set. 213, 210, and 216. So what I have here is an apparatus that I like to use to measure the draw weight of my slingshots. I start with the clay ammo band set. This is measuring in at 6.65 pounds. Let's measure in the 3 8 band set. 11.2 pounds. So as you can see, the clay ammo bands are much, much lighter, but they're shooting the clay ammo almost the same speed. Now that being said, there's also a significant difference in how fast the 3 8 bands are shooting the 3 8 ammo. So again, we just want to reiterate that matching your bands to your ammo is super important when it comes to slingshots. In a lot of cases, if you're shooting lighter ammo, like clay or quarter inch steel, a very light band set is often all you need. When you step up to heavier ammo, like a 3 8 7 16 or even a half inch, you're going to need to increase the draw weight of your band set in order to reach the speeds that you're looking for. Thanks for watching again, and if you do have any questions, reach out. We're here to help you have success with your slingshot early and often.